Uh, hey guys, just Sam here. Just thought I'd make a quick video for you. I've just been relaxing today. Um, just had a good game of squash, but just enjoying my uh, beautiful view off the balcony. But just first, what I wanted to do is, um, actually, I just got this book called The, the Answer. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, it's by John Asraf and Murray Smith. And John Asraf was one of the teachers in the movie The Secret. I picked up this book for $5 off a bargain uh, bookshop, bookshop stand. Um, I saw it, I don't know, six, 12 months, six, eight months ago whenever, whenever it got released. Um, I just thought it was going to be another personal development book. I've read loads and loads of them. Uh, I saw it for $5, thought I'd pick it up, and I can tell you it's been one of the best books I've ever read in my entire life. It's, uh, it's literally amazing. But what I wanted to, what I wanted to report on it today for it is basically six steps. Uh, you know, we've all heard about the law of attraction and you know, the subconscious mind is more powerful than the conscious mind and all this sort of side of it. But John Asraf, he's a wildly successful entrepreneur and in his book, or in his book, he writes about six steps of neuro-reconditioning, about how to get your desire or your intention and really embed it into your subconscious mind to let it bring, let it come to you and let the law of attraction really start to uh, take effect. And I just want to quickly go through these six steps and some of the things that I use to, well, help me manifest different things. But very first is create a new vision of your financial business success. The book's all about business and financial success, not just the law of attraction. It's about how to make business and wealth. So it is business, uh, business related, but um, obviously it can you know, carry on to health and romance and you name it. But create a, create a clear vision of what you want uh, financially and make it emotionally rich and crystal clear. Now, not sure whether you know, but obviously you're, it's not just good enough having a vision, it needs to be emotionally rich, you need to you know, really feel it and, and sense it. A lot of traction doesn't necessarily work on thoughts, it more works on feelings and uh, your vibration. But it does talk about having a clear image, and we've all heard about that, clarity is power. And one of the key things he talks about is having three different numbers. One is what your net worth is, what your annual income is, and and third number is your yeah, annual contribution per year that you'd like to like to give. Uh, it's great to give back. Giving, you know, uh, the heart gives, heart gives gathers. As my old uh, old mentor used to, my first mentor used to always tell me. The second step is powerful create de create powerful declarations and affirmations to support that new vision. Uh, if you've read Think and Go Rich or most any other books on law of attraction or personal development, they've all talked about affirmations and how powerful they are. Um, I'm not going to go right into affirmations and uh, what it all is, but you do need to write them out and write loads and loads of them out. Um, I mean, I've got a, I've got a little my app, laminated piece of uh, card here, or over, I don't know, maybe 25 affirmations written down here that I read every day. So do that and put it somewhere low, but somewhere close you can see it. The, probably the main thing with affirmations is you just really want to uh, Make sure they're in the present tense. You know, our subconscious mind only thinks of present. There's no past, there's no future. Our conscious mind has the past and the future. Our subconscious mind only works in the present. So always state your affirmations in the present tense, such as I now earn $15,000 a month, as an example, or I now earn $1 million, or I now have the romance of my life, or I'm now the my ideal weight of, you know, I don't know, 50 kg or whatever it is. Um, Third of all is create, develop emotional anchors and neurolinking. Neurolinking. Now this is interesting. I heard about this many years ago when I was going into the through the Anthony Robbins tapes and some NLP trick. But basically, put in a really simple terms to try and explain to you a little, uh, very briefly. We've all had accomplishments over our life. That some people know about. Some only you'll know about. And look, they could be anything from uh, I don't know going black belt or getting a certain uh, achievement in martial arts, um, getting a business deal, going up to the girl and going up to someone you like in the street and getting a date with them, to losing a certain amount of weight, whatever it may be. Now what, what you want to do is relive those experiences. So sit back for 10 minutes, 15 minutes and relive it. Get emotionally charged about what that feeling was. And you're going to hit a peak. It's going to keep getting better and better and better. When you hit that peak, Grab one of your affirmations or one of your intentions that you want to manifest or you want to inbred in your subconscious mind and repeat that. Repeat that over and over as you're at that emotional peak. As you do that, it'll create, it'll create anchors and, and link into your subconscious mind. It's really, really good. It goes great. It goes into huge detail in the book. I recommend everyone to get the book. It's amazing. 
And the fourth uh, is prefer, prepare a profile of imprinting material. This is, now, he said it could be written, it could be audio, it could be visual, it could be a subliminal pieces, wherever it may be. This is an example of some imprinting material. This is a limited uh, couple of pieces of paper I've done. I've, I've made a couple of these in fact, but this is my latest one. It's got all my affirmations on the front, and on the back it's got a day in my life. From things I like to do, or how much money I earn, what I'd like to earn, to uh, things I'm grateful for, my family, relationships, uh, experiences I want to have, you name it. It's all written in here. Every day I read that. Now the fifth one talks about maintaining a brief daily routine of reconditioning techniques. So there's no point just making these things, you need to do it on a daily basis. Not just once, but at least twice per day, I would say. He actually talks about three times, he says in the morning, in the midday, and then once in the evening. I do mine morning and, and evening, and every now and then when I remember, I'll do it during the day. I get quite busy during the day, and it's just, but I'm, yeah. But morning and night, definitely, definitely the, the, the peak times. I remember reading a book many years ago with about uh, Brian Tracy was the author, and he talked about the golden hour. The golden hour was the hour before you wake up and the hour before you go back to uh, before you retire at night and go to sleep. The, these are the times of the subconscious mind and the conscious mind are the most receptive, and it's a lot easier to imprint things onto the subconscious mind at that stage. Now, that's number five. Number six is employ various forms of neural technology to reinforce these images throughout the day. This is really key. What, one of the technologies I use, and I've actually been using this for the last 18 months or so, it's with the Centerpoint um, institution. Now, Centerpoint's run by Bill Harris. He was also one of the teachers of Movement Secret. And it's to do with meditation. I, since I started meditating, um, probably about two years ago, two and a half years ago, the the side effects are amazing. My life has literally changed around on a dime. It, it's it's incredible. Um, I'm really addicted to it now, and I, I love it. If there's a day go past that I don't meditate, which is very rare these days, but when it when it does happen, it, I, I don't. I mean, I feel great. Still, I still have a great day, but I, I, it's you miss that sort of you miss that feeling. It, it's you feel that connectedness where you where you're going. But um, what they've got is a it's called a waking prolong. It's they're audio CDs, they're CDs, this is in here. This is level number one. And there's one, there's a level before this called uh, Awakening Prolong. And there's level one that goes up all the way up to level 12. Each level lasts between about three to six months at a time. Uh, you basically put some headphones on, stereo headphones, and you just turn it on. And it will, your brainwave go, it will take you through different brainwaves. And uh, you can literally meditate uh, deep in a Zen monk. Um, there's studies being done about meditation, many, many of them. Go check online. Um, I'm not going to go right into that. That's a whole another, it's a whole another video on its own. But this is amazing. Now, why I, why I'm bringing it up here and some of the technologies I'm using here is simply because once you get to level one, once you do uh, awakening and prolong, that really lays the foundation for the course. Then you get to level one, two, and and so on. You can start using subliminal messages in your own sit in your own voice that you, record, that you record for them and they embed it into these tracks for you. Now, how do they do that? I, I was amazed, it was really simple though. All you do is uh, ring, they give you a hotline to call, a free phone number, and they give you a five minute recording time. Um, after that five minutes, it just loops itself over and over and over. Now, the meditation, they, they start at half an hour and they go up to an hour and they build up to an hour and you don't have to worry about it. I mean, once your mind's going and it's put into these different uh, mind states, man, that hour, flies past and the visions you can get like visualization man it's easy it flows to you really really quick um, you can create the most vivid visualizations you can make things happen it's it's really good you feel a connectiveness to the universe or to everyone else that you you've ever had um, it's really really good highly highly recommended but this technology that the subliminal embedding in your mind look I don't know the full realm that this is probably had, but just the small things I've noticed, it's it's amazing. It's um, really, really recommended. You can go get a free CD if you like. It's a demo. Um, I'll send it out to you. You can just go to centerpoint.com or click on my the banner on my on my uh, blog. Um, they'll send you a free demo. Listen to it. 
like it, great. If you don't, that's fine as well. But it's really, really good. And I can tell you, meditation, I can't speak more for it since I've started. But look, that's, that's about it for me. Um, if you liked the video, I hope it helped. I do recommend you go get the book, The, the Answer. It's one of the best books I've ever read. But um, look, if you like this video, please retweet it on Twitter or, um, or, give me a, or send me a comment on my blog. But anyways, love to see you and I'm going to enjoy the rest of this, uh, rest of this afternoon. And I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.